Hey, what's going on? It's Jack Malaco for Beard Brand. Today, I want to share with you guys three things that I wish I had known back before I ever started growing a beard. I'm 24 years old right now, and I've been growing a beard for about 10 or so years. During that time, I've learned a lot about what you can, can't, shouldn't, and should do when it comes to growing a beard. And I thought I'd go back in time and tell myself three things that I wish I'd known before I ever started out growing any facial hair whatsoever. So the first thing I wish I'd known was that it's not all gonna grow evenly. That's just the truth. Sometimes you're gonna find that you're gonna grow things that are in the mustache area first, maybe the goatee, maybe the cheeks, maybe just the neck. Point is, what you see is not what you're gonna get. What your beard looks like five years from now is not gonna be what it looks like 10 years from now or 20 years from now. Look at guys like Greg Brzezinski on this channel. He didn't get the beard that he has right now until he was in his 40s or 50s. Personally, I didn't get the beard that you see now until I was in my early to mid 20s. When I was 14, 15, 16, really all I was getting back then was the cheeks, the goatee, and just a smattering of the mustache. Nothing connected, and eventually it did. So keep that in mind for yourself. Maybe what you're growing right now is not what you're ultimately gonna get, so be patient with it. Second thing I wish I knew back then is that the beginning is gonna be rough. It's gonna test you, especially within that first month. A lot of guys sacrifice their beards only 30 days in. They don't even get to that 30-day mark sometimes because what we see during that time is what we call the awkward phase. It not only doesn't look great, it doesn't feel great. It can be itchy, it can be sore, and it can just feel like you want to rip your face off sometimes. But that's where care comes in. That's where things like beard oil and balm are going to be your best friend because it's going to soothe those hairs as they're breaking through your skin and growing out into that big old beard. My challenge to the earlier version of myself would be give yourself that 30 days. Don't just go to two weeks and say, screw it, I don't want to have this anymore. I just want the big beard and this is taking too long. This is itchy. I hate this. Let's get rid of it. Be patient with it. I know it sucks right now, but it gets better. If you start taking good care of your beard right away, you're going to notice that awkward face and so awkward. It may look a little weird, but it's not going to feel so bad. All right. And then the third and final thing I wish I had known back then, and this really even applies to right now, is that you don't have to go for that big, gigantic, massive, dense beard. I know what you're doing. You're looking on the internet and you're seeing all these guys, with these big, massive, gnarly beards, and you go, that's the only one I want. That's the only thing I can get. And that is the only thing I'm going to set my sights on. When in reality, I'm going to come out and say it. I think the majority of people on planet Earth cannot grow that type of beard. You know, the big, massive one. I think the majority of us here grow what we call patchy beards. Maybe some of us don't grow beards at all. Point is, the big, gigantic beard isn't for everyone. So do yourself a favor and do some research. Figure out what else is out there. There are tons of different facial hairstyles that you can pick. You don't just have to go for that massive one. You can go for just the mustache, just the goatee. Call that a Van Dyke. Maybe you connect everything. Circle beard. Maybe you're doing what I'm doing these days, shaving down the cheeks. Even though you can grow them, you find that this is what really suits you. At the end of the day, it's what makes you feel confident about yourself. I don't want you to set unattainable goals, and I don't want you to set unrealistic goals. So be smart, be realistic, and be careful. And I mean that in the most basic way. Care for your beard as you're growing it out. So just because you're not growing a big massive beard doesn't mean you shouldn't take care of it just like you would if it was massive. Treat your beard as a world champion beard because it's attached to a world champion guy, okay? That's all I've got for you this week, guys. So that is what I would tell myself if I could go back in time and visit myself and say, these are three things that you should know before you go on and grow a beard. All right. So until I see you next week, hey, keep on growing. All right, stop. Before you head over to the next video, let me tell you about the Alliance. It's for men who are passionate about self-improvement, about becoming a better version of themselves, and about that mission of ours to keep on growing. Come join us over there and find like-minded individuals who will push you to the next level and hold you accountable to what you say you're going to do.